The Kuba Mosque Arabic, Ma -sgd -kuba a translate. Masjid Kuba is a mosque in the outlying environs of Medina, Saudi Arabia. Depending on whether the mosque of the companions in the Eritrean city of Massawa is older or not, it may be the first mosque in the world that dates to the lifetime of the Islamic Nabi Arabic, Na by Prophet Muhammad in the 7th century CE, and depending on whether the religion of Islam started with him or preceded him, it is either the first mosque in the history of Islam, or it is not the first, with the great mosques of Mecca and Jerusalem being older, due to their association with earlier prophets in Islam, especially Abraham. According to legend, its first stones were positioned by Muhammad as soon as he arrived on his emigration from the city of Mecca to Medina, and the mosque was completed by his companions. Muhammad spent 14 days in this mosque praying Qasr Arabic, ka -sr a short prayer while waiting for Ali to arrive in Medina after the latter stayed behind in Mecca to carry out a couple of tasks entrusted to him by the Prophet, according to Islamic tradition, performing wudu, Arabic, wudu w ablution in one's home then offering two raka Arabic, raka out of nafl Arabic, na fl optional prayers in the Kuba mosque is equal to performing one umrah Arabic. Um, right. Muhammad used to go there, riding or on foot, every Saturday and offer a two raka at prayer. He advised others to do the same, saying, Whoever makes ablutions at home and then goes and prays in the mosque of Kuba, he will have a reward like that of an umrah. This hadith Arabic, hadi, was reported by Ahmad ibn Hanbal, al Nasai, ibn Majah, and Hakim al Nishabori. Architecture <laughs> 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 When Abdul Wahed el Wakil was commissioned, in the 20th century, to conceive a larger mosque, he intended to incorporate the old structure into his design. But the old mosque was torn down and replaced with a new one. The new mosque consists of a rectangular prayer hall raised on a second story platform. The prayer hall connects to a cluster containing residential areas, offices, ablution facilities, shops, and a library. Six additional entrances are dispersed on the northern, eastern, and western facades. Four minarets mark the corners of the prayer hall. The minarets rest on square bases, have octagonal shafts which take on a circular shape as they reach the top. Topic. Prayer hall The prayer hall is arranged around a central courtyard, characterized by six large domes resting on clustered columns. A portico, which is two bays in depth, borders the courtyard on the east and west, while a one-bayed portico borders it on the north, and separates it from the women's prayer area. The women's prayer area, which is surrounded by a screen, is divided into two parts as a passageway connects the northern entrance with the courtyard. When Kuba Mosque was rebuilt in 1986, the Medina architecture was retained, ribbed white domes, and basalt facing and modest exterior, qualities that recalls Medina's simplicity. The courtyard, is flagged with black, red and white marble. It is screened overhead by day from the scorching heat with shades. Arabesque latticework filters the light of the palm groves outside. Elements of the new building include work by the Egyptian architect Abdul Wahed El Wakil and the Stuttgart tensile architect Mahmoud Bodo Rash, a student of Fry Otto. Topic. Landmarks. Water fountain Masjid Darar previously Topic Imams and Khatib Sheikh Muhammad Ayyub and Adil Sheikh Salah Al Magamzi Topic Mentions Topic In Hadith The merits of Masjid Kuba are mentioned in 19 Sahih al-Bukhari hadiths, 13 Sahih Muslim hadiths, 2 Sunan Abu Dawood hadiths, 6 al-Muwatta hadiths, Muhammad frequented the mosque and prayed there. This is referred to in a number of hadith. Narrated Abdullah bin Dinar Ibn Umar said, The Prophet used to go to the mosque of Kuba every Saturday sometimes walking and sometimes riding. Abdullah ibn Umar used to do the same. Narrated Ibn Umar The Prophet used to go to the mosque of Kuba sometimes walking and sometimes riding. Added Nafi in another narration. He then would offer two racket in the mosque of Kuba. In the Quran 
It is believed to be the mosque which the Quran mentions as being founded on piety and devoutness Masjid al -taqwa. Never stand to pray there referring to a place of worship in which the hypocrites had used for harm and disbelief, as mentioned in the previous ayah. A place of worship which was founded upon duty to Allah from the first day is more worthy that thou should stand to pray therein, wherein are men who love to purify themselves. Allah loveth the purifiers. Gallery See also Holiest sites in Islam Islamic architecture Islamic art Kuba city Timeline of Muslim history Topic References Muhammad The Messenger of Islam by Haja Amina Adil p 286 the Naqshbandi Sufi Tradition Guidebook of Daily Practices and Devotions by Hisham Kabani p. 301. Hapold, The Confidence to Build by Derek Walker and Bill Addis p. 81. Topic. External links Virtues of Masjid Kuba, Medina, taken from Tafsir ibn Kathir and other Sahih Hadith.